Hey what's up guys, today we are trying out a game called Passing by a Tailwind Journey. So start New Journey Home, okay So we are this little girl A hare No, too small A bunny then And that one over there looks like Oh I know, a flower could be a daisy. Ah, there's a big one coming. Alright. Focus. What could it be? Some kind of a vehicle? A hot air balloon maybe? Or a ship? Hard to tell. It's moving pretty fast. On second thought, this doesn't look like a cloud at all. That's a real ship. It's going down. Better take cover. Okay, so that's basically a hot air balloon. Postal greetings, I apologize for buzzing in like that, but I ran low on fuel. Are you alright? That landing looked pretty rough. Oh well, I had wars during my career, no worries. Sorry. What was your name again? I'm Curly. And you are? I'm Kato, veteran aeronaut and senior post officer. A pleasure to meet you. A legendary post officer? You must have a lot of stories to tell from your adventures. Oh, I sure do. Me and my beautiful Tailwind here have been traveling together for quite some time now. And you should have seen me when I was still in my prime. I wasn't too different from you when I was younger, full of energy and fueled by thirst for an adventure. Alas, seeing that I barely made managed to land safely, I fear my heyday might be long past. But I still have a very special letter to deliver, I can't just stop here. What's so special about that letter? Unfortunately, I cannot tell you that. Secrecy of correspondence and all that, you know? Then again, huh, that's an idea. Uh, you're staring at me. Curly, you ha I know we have barely met, but would you do me a tremendous favor and deliver this last letter for me? Come again? An adventure, Curly. I'm sending you on an adventure, following in my footsteps as a post officer. Me? A post officer? But don't you have to train for years to become one? And what about a uniform? Oh, the uniform is the easiest part. Here, you can have my old bag and hat. I kept them in pristine condition for over 50 years. Ah, a real post officer satchel. It fits you really well, Curly. Perfect for a post officer in training. Speaking of which, I should probably teach you how to handle the tailwind. You're really handing your ship over to me? Of course. After all, what is a post officer without your ship? But first, you and I should probably fix the old lady. The landing did quite a number on her. You know what I don't like? That he mentioned that he needs... She's low on the fuel, but I have no idea how it's still s basically in the air. Yeah, that's strange. Alright, Junior Post Officer Curly reporting for training. What do I have to do? Since the ship runs on gas, it is imperative to always have a full gas bottle in salt. One of these big metal bottles with the turkey's coating? Huh, I might have one like that laying around here somewhere. Once you found a gas bottle, just connect it to the gas tank inside the ship. Return to me afterwards. Sure. Let's go on a mini adventure now, I guess. Uh huh, I cannot go up there. Mm hmm. So here it is, but I cannot take it for now. 
Let's place that box here. Okay. Can I do that right here then? Yes. Good. Uh, why do I need to open the inventory? I know that it's there, so... So, let's climb the ship and insert the gas right here. The tank is empty, I should put a gas bottle in there. Insert item, drag item from inventory and drop, okay. Uh, balloon? Uh... Okay, so uh, we're not going there, then we're going back to this guy. Whoops. Well done, Curly. You refueled the tailwind. Now the controls should be working again. But before I show you how to fly the ship, you better pack some supplies from the journey ahead. For the journey ahead. Go ahead, fill up your water bottle, bottle and pack some snacks. Once that is done, we'll talk about the tailwind. Okay, so, snacks, huh? I guess I do have to go to my house through here. Well, that would be quite logical. Uh-huh. Well, I guess, yeah, we can gather the apples. The laundry is still a bit damp. I'll leave it hanging a little longer. Uh, bench? Well, we don't want to do that. Okay, please stand up. Please stand up. Thank you. Uh, the industry as well. Anything else useful here? Probably not. Let's go into the house. Uh, let's go upstairs. A banana. And this plant is called Chuck. Hello, Chuck. Hello. What the? Okay. What's that? No clue. So, what can we find here? Uh, exit. Fluffy, warm and safe. The best place to take a nap or dream of the fairy way islands floating through the sky. Exit. Uh, oh, okay. Didn't expect that. Okay, I guess we're taking that as well. And how is the weather today? Oh, an internal wind coming from the west, who would have thought? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, then I saw that we can go here. I don't know what's in here. Oh, probably we can fill. The water looks clean enough to drink. I should replenish. Drag item from inventory and drop on hot spot. So, I guess that's what we do. And can we walk on the water? Oh yeah, we can. Nice, and there's something there. Something for the air balloon. Oh, I don't exactly know what that is. Is it like a skin for the air balloon? Something like that? Probably. So, well, I think we have gathered everything so we can return to that guy. Excellent, Curly. Looks like you're really prepared for your big adventure. Thus, I declare your training as a junior post officer successfully completed. What training? I haven't received anything, basically. Wait, you promised to teach me how to fly the tailwind first. Alright. Well, flying the tailwind is a piece of cake. Just take this guidebook. Inside you'll find everything you need to know. A guidebook? That is all you're giving me? What about flying lessons? Don't worry, Curly. You'll figure it out in due time. That's also part of the adventure. Just let things happen to you. That sounds a bit reckless, to be honest. It may be scary at first, but sometimes it's best to learn while doing. Such as the way of the post officers. Oh, speaking of which, you still need... The most important item of all, right? Here, as my last official act in the name of the Postal Service before my retirement, I present you with this extremely important letter. Huh? There's no address written on the envelope. To whom shall I, shall I deliver this letter? How shall I find its recipient? Once you find them, 
you'll surely recognize them. The mystery is part of the journey. Now, now, what's with that frowny face all of a sudden? Weren't you excited to become a post officer only a minute ago? I'm, I am excited. The sky, the tailwind, seeing the world. But once I leave, I can never come back. Who wouldn't be scared by that? Ah yes, the best wind, it's true. It can be daring to always be pushed further with no option of return. I too had my doubts when I first set out, but soon the tailwind became my home and the people I met along the way became my family. The adventures and the company I found were more than worth the risk of taking to the skies. I spent all of my life on this tiny island, maybe it really is time to wander out into the world. Or even better, to fly. Spoken like a true post officer. You sound like you were born for this, Curly. Now then, if you're ready, all you have to do is climb into the belly of the tailwind and hoist the anchor. Well, it's time to say goodbye then. I'll deliver this letter, Kato. I promise. Farewell. Okay, so... Wait. Uh, never mind. I guess we are going in here, then going down here, take off, uh, huh, I don't know anything else, but as I imagine we can control this somehow. Alright, let's see what the manual has to say about this. Alright, this section is about a burner. So, burner location main deck, turn up the heat if you want the tailwind to rise. The higher the level, the faster you ascend. Turn down the heat to vent air if you want the tailwind to sink. The lower the level, the faster you descend. Reminder, keep in mind not to overload the ship or you will run out of gas quickly. Well, I just refilled this thing, so I guess it's time to soar. Uh, I guess we're going up. I have no clue actually. Uh huh. I don't know. Also, where are we going to? I don't know. Let's just go up whatever. So, west wind. So, the wind is basically pushing us from the west. That's what it means. Also, how do we land on islands? Uh huh. That's actually a good question. Uh. And I have no clue where I do have to go. So I'm just going higher. And also, we need water, drink to eat. It's getting increasingly warm around here, I need to stay hydrated, I don't want to risk getting dizzy. Great, looks like captaining this ship isn't that complicated after all. What's the next step? Okay, this is what the sail direction says. Sail. You can give the tailwind a horizontal speed boost with the sail. You can switch between three settings, no speed, half speed, full speed. Due to the west wind, the ship will always be moving, even if the sail is set to no speed. Okay. No time like the present. Sure, so, but first let's drink and eat an apple. Well, yeah, that's better. So yeah, let's go here and I guess we're going to the right. I don't know, let's just turn on full speed. Great, looks like captaining the ship isn't that complicated after all. What's the next step? Utility attachments. Uh, the tailwind can be upgraded with a variety of balloon attachments. To install the attachments, simply drag it into the gear slot. Reminder, the attachments will be placed on various different locations across the balloon. These various attachments could come in very handy. I'll give it a try right away. I think there's a telescope in the back, Kato gave me. Let's attach it to the observation desk. Okay. Equipment. Uh... I guess we have attached it. 
Great, looks like captaining the ship isn't that complicated after all. That's the third time she says that. What's the next step? Now, about this telescope. Uh, the telescope is a utility attachment. Install it to scout out faraway islands. Simply interact with the telescope to enter telescope mode. In telescope mode, time will slow and you can select any island and reach for further investigation. That thing is pretty nifty. Now, which of these islands warrants a closer look? Okay, so what do we see in here? Uh, there's nothing there, okay. Uh, I'm slowly getting the hang of this. Now, what else do I do according to the manual? Ah yes, there's even a section about my bunk. Nice. If you want to save the game, you can do, the, do so by using the hammock. Passing by also supports an autosave feature. Please don't turn off your system when this autosave icon is being displayed. Okay. To be honest, reading that much has tired me out. Perhaps I should take a quick nap? Sure, whatever. We can do that. Wait, that was an interesting island. Which I guess is too late to go to it now, huh? Ah, uh, brr, it's getting kind of chilly. Well, I'm burning more calories. At least I get to indulge in the trees I have brought with me. Uh, let's do it like this. Then, let's go down here. And save the game. My cozy new bunk. It's life like a dream come true. Great, looks like captaining the ship isn't that complicated after all. What's the next step? The last section of the manual is dedicated to the anchor. To cast the anchor, pull the lever. Time will slow as you're entering anchoring mode. Now you can select the island you wish to land on. Once you confirm your landing spot, the tailwind will land automatically. Huh, I'm learning by doing, I guess. On which island should I try to land? Uh huh. Oh no, the air is getting really thin around here. I should get back to the more moderate heights quickly. Uh oh, okay, we are too high. That's what she means. Uh. Yeah, okay, let's go lower. Uh, and that's not as fast as I thought it will be, but okay. Uh huh. Wait, maybe I should anchor somewhere that would be faster as well. Now we can turn off going down so fast uh huh wait a second i want to land on that island okay i cannot do that i guess huh what that was about to do again right now phew i'm quite a scatter better good thing i can rely on this manual okay i saw this about the anchor okay i know i just well was losing uh, altitude well, oxygen maybe, be, that's what I should say. Oh yeah, let's land on this one. Uh, we should eat some food. And that was the final page of the manual. Looks like that is everything there is to know about the balloonist lifestyle. Then, well, then that means I'm ready for the journey ahead. Time to deliver this mysterious letter. Okay, so let's go explore where we have just landed. Oh yeah, let's zoom in maybe a little bit. So, fishies, are we friendly? Well, yeah, they're not killing me. Uh-huh, so there's nothing to do in here. And it's really cold in here as well, so... That's not really good, but there's food here, right? Or whatever that is. And now let's get the hell out of here. Uh-huh. 
Uh, wait, uh, let's go remove the anchor. Not here. Here. Yeah, so let's take off. Good. Also, we should go a little bit lower. I think we're still a little bit high up. And let's eat some food. Bananas. Okay, sure. And apple. Another. Uh, but, oh, I still do have some water. Okay, that's good. So let's go a little bit further away. It's still cold here? Yeah, I'm trying to go a little bit down. It's, well, I cannot do anything else. The tank is empty. Okay. Uh-huh. So... Oh yeah, let's land on that island if I will still make it there. That I just seen this one. Uh, maybe we'll find something interesting in there. Uh, what did I previously get? Oh, it's this probably sandbag. Okay, so... Well, there's the water source. Oh, here's the water source, so... Let's drink. And then we can replenish it. Yep, good. And let's go higher a little bit, see what's up there. I actually don't see anything... ...in there. Which could be of my use, but okay. Uh... This pile of dirt looks rather suspicious. I wonder if it's worth starting a little dig. I have a shovel? I do not, so... Yeah, maybe it is, but I don't have a shovel, so... Uh, then let's go off. Mm. And let's climb a bit higher to see where we could go, actually. Uh, I was just in that island. Well, we can sure inspect this. Oh, there are some berries. Oh yeah, sure, let's go ahead and land in that island then. We need food, right? So... And we only got the apples, so... Uh, okay, so... It was this island, yes. There probably was some food on that island, which we just passed. On the left. Okay, so let's go take some food and we can eat our apple again. So, berries. Good. Only one. Mushrooms. Cannot take that. Some berries again. And what's that? I won't get far here just using my hands. Some tools however might do that trick. But I don't have any tools. Sandbag. Mysterious letter. First aid kit. And that's more or less it. So I don't know how can I get the tools. Uh, I guess let's take off and let's go to our telescope. Maybe we'll see something more interesting there, for example. Uh, a bird. What's that? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so let's land there then, I guess. Uh -huh. It was this island, if I'm not mistaken. Sure, let's go there. Let's eat our apple. It's basically a survivor simulator. 
What would happen if I would fall down while I still have not landed, I wonder? If I would fell out, fall out from the ship, basically. So. What did I just take? It's gas? What is it? I don't know, we'll, I guess, come back to the ship. But I think that it is gas. Okay, we should be able to insert it. Small gas cylinder, and this is gas bottle. Small container of fuel for the balloon. Okay, understood. Uh, yeah, so let's take off from here then. And... Here to now, we can go check our telescope and find out. Where to go next? Oh wait, there's something which might be interesting. Mushrooms and a chest. Okay, d I'm definitely landing there. I'm basically landing at each island I look at. But hey, I don't know. Maybe it will be worth it because there's a chest, so... Uh, yeah, so let's go there. Mm, again, then we should drink the water and mountain berries picked straight from the bush. Delicious and healthy. Well, does not replenish my hunger level very good. Okay, so mushrooms. I hope that I can eat those. So, a chest. Okay, well, sure, we can bear those. Extremely fluffy earmuffs. These muffs offer some protection against the cold, but they are so fluffy it's hard to hear anything. Okay. So, basically, I'm not able to hear music, which I don't know if that's bad, but. I don't need them for now, as well, we're not in the, I don't know, wintry conditions, right? We're not having that much of a cold. Well, yeah, there's still some way to Oh, look, a town! Well, I definitely will want to go there. Sure, let's go there. Maybe that's where I have to deliver the letter. We'll learn in a few minutes, I guess. Okay, so... Yeah, I can land here. Perfect. Let's see. The Monastery of the Merciful Magpie? Okay. The sign says, Dear visitors, welcome to the monastery of the Merciful Magpie. For pleasant stay, please take note of the following guidelines. First, absolute silence is to be maintained in the chapel during prayer times. Secondly, murals are based on the strike of the chapel bell. First come, first served. Thirdly, the monastery assumes no liability in the event of loss of valuables. Visitors are therefore advised to keep glittering or shine items in the lockers located inside the nearby gatehouse. Thank you very much for your understanding. May the blessed bird always show you her great kindness, as long as you abide by our rules. Okay. Wait, is there a, something here? But I cannot take it? Why? But I see it. Okay, whatever. Uh, what's in here? A row of lockers for the visitors of the monastery. Two of them are currently occupied. Okay. I don't know. Let's exit that. And let's go to the monastery. Uh, oh, some mushrooms here. So sure, let's collect them. Uh, okay, let's go up there then. Also, our... Where do those mushrooms appear? Here. Oh, and I saw some berries, but never mind. Okay, interesting. What's that? According to the scientist, door leads to lavatorium. Whatever a lavatorium is, something with lava? Maybe that's why it's out of order. 
Yeah, interesting. But there are no people here. Wait, can I take that? Well, I just did. Finally, I meet someone here. I already thought this place was deserted. Hi, I'm Curly. Pleased to meet you. Oh, Curly. Welcome and praise be upon you and the merciful magpie for sending you. She must have finally heard my prayers and send us someone here to save us. And here I was already imagining what they write on my stone. He realized good brother Cornelius who even spies up death. His devotion to the kitchen was so great he could have given paradise a better taste. I must admit, I'm glad it might not be my time yet. So, your brother Cornelius? Of the order of the Morseful Magpie, exactly. But soon it will be late, brother Cornelius, unless a miracle comes to pass. You sound quite gloomy, talking about dying like that. L are you alright? Maybe I can help? Oh, Curly, you really must have been sent by her mercifulness herself. If she has truly sent you here to help us, then listen well, Curly. The stew is more than ready, but I cannot call my brothers to lunch because the bell is broken. The bell? Pitch bell. The bell in the bell tower of our sacred chapel. All members of the order live their lives by tolling of this bell. It reminds us of the magpie song and calls us to work, eat and pray. But it's broken and without it to tell us the hour of the day we can go about our business as we used to. I tried ringing the bell with my broomstick here, but alas, all it did was give me splinters. The thing is better off stirring the stew, but we're still doomed to live in this perpetual state of pre-lunch. This is all very interesting and confusing, if I may add by- but wait a minute, did you just say you're stirring the stew with a broomstick? Why not use a spoon? Because I have no more spoons. I gave my last one to a piece here. Federine is the last time she stole her my mean to say borrow the bell clapper. And now all I that have left for sitting is this old broomstick. And who exactly is her featherness and what would she want with your spoon? My dear words, as dire as the situation is, I will not tolerate you slandering or most holy. Surely the merciful magpie merely means to test us and our devotion to her with this trial. So long story short, the holy magpie of this convent has stolen. Borrowed. Huh, fine, the holy bird has borrowed the bell clapper. Her grace like shiny things. And until the bell is rung, none of your brothers can progress with your daily tasks, right? I guess you could say it like that. Although I'm sure her holiness only has her best interests at heart. Bless her, rump. So why don't you just go to her and take the clapper back? Take the bell clapper back from our most holy? Bless me. Besides, she is rather protective of her shiny possessions. And the members of the order of the merciful magpie have taken an oath to keep peace at all times and reject any acts of violence. However, last time I was able to appease her with my silver spoon and was gifted with a bell clapper in return. Meaning you had to distract her with one shiny object to get the other one back? Now that sounds like a plan. It may sound like one, but alas you are a frugal order. And there are no more shiny trinkets left on this island. Leave that to, to me, brother Cornelius. I'm sure I can come up with something to distract your merciful magpie. You just keep stirring your stew. I'll be back in no time with that bell clapper of yours. I'm afraid I have no other choice anyway, Curly. Not until the bell rings. Good luck and may her mercilessness hold her protective wings above you. Okay, so... Basically, we got a task to do, which I'm not sure I will be able to fulfill, but sure, we can try that. Well, at least there's some food in here. And we cannot go down from here, so we have to go here and climb down. Okay, oh, and we have to eat, did not saw that. What about those mushrooms? Uh, everything seems okay with them. Okay, so... Oh, some more mushrooms. That's also good. Mm. Courtyard and chapel upstairs. Sure, let's try going upstairs maybe first. I don't know. 
Wait, is that gold? No, those are sunflower seeds. Okay. Uh, wait, I want to firstly maybe go down here. I can't reach the bottom. How am I supposed to get water? That's a good question, isn't it? Whoops. Uh... I wanted to see if I can fall down or not. Uh huh. I guess we can. So, yeah, at least, well, we did not start at the mere beginning again. Wait. I can see the bucket up there, but how do I reach it? That's a good question. Also, were the berries collected? No, they did not save, so, sure, let's collect them again. And let's go down here. Mm -hmm. And then there will be some mushrooms, right? Where are they? Okay, here they are. Mushrooms, those are good. Let's climb up. Wait, I could probably jump from here to there. Well, I don't know. Let's go like this at first, then this, and let's go into the chapel. Some berries, good. Wait, what about this? Can't I collect that? Who is he? Um, hello, sorry to bother you, my name is Curly. Now, would you look at that, a visitor. Welcome to the monastery of the Merciful Magpie, Curly, what brings you here? I'm kind of on a special mission to find the recipient of this letter here, would you mind taking a look? I'm afraid I cannot help you with that, pal. I'm not really into all that mail business, Brother Sinus is usually taking care of that. I'm more of a hands-on type guy, my name is Brother Capranus, by the way. Nice to meet you, Brother Capranus, what are you, go are you doing here? Having a bad day, that's what I'm doing. First we are getting a huge delivery of bird food for the old beast. Wait a second, is the bird food meant for the Mirrorsville magpie? Could it be used to distract her? Yes, of course it is. Hold it, what are you talking about? You see, I met Brother Cornelius in the kitchen. The good news is lunch is ready to be served. The bad news is the chapel bell is in working so Brother Cornelius can't call you all to the refectory. Oh, now that makes sense, my stomach's been rumbling like a, a growling hound. We're overdue for lunch break. Let me guess what happened, that old beast stole the chapelist bell clapper again. I'm afraid so, at least that's what I gather from brother Cornelius, he was rather jittery. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh pal, let me tell you, countless times I've told them all that this would happen again sooner or later and would get only worse. Well, not exactly countless times, but I can remember at least four different occasions. Ah, uh, here we go again, the days just keep getting better and better. Brother Cornelius told me that he was able to distract the Merciful Magpie with a silver spoon the last time this happened. Do you think it might be possible to bribe her with some bird food instead? No, pal, food won't get us far. The bird is used to being fed three times a day, plus all those extra scraps that Brother Cornelius pulled her with. And there's not a single sparkling or shiny thing left on this island that this old beast hasn't gotten her claws on already. So how about something that is not from this island? You make it sound a lot easier than it actually is, although... Listen, some time ago we were visited by an admiral in his zeppelin who was constantly bragging about this new shiny medal he just got. It had to be locked away in one of our visitors lockers at all. All times for safety of course, so no one of us ever saw it. Guess what happened on a day he wanted to leave, he had lost his locker key. That was quite a tantrum he threw, but in the end it made no difference and he had to leave his precious medal behind. It must still be stored inside one of those lockers in the hay house. If you can find the key to that locker, we could use the medal to distract the old beast just as long enough to grab the bell clapper. Well, that's a plan. Thanks for the hint, brother Caprinus. Do you have any idea of where I should start looking for this key? All I can tell you is that the admiral spent a lot of time in our beer cellar during his visit here. It's through the co door on the other side of the courtyard. Okay, then I'll go check out the cellar. Thanks, pal. You're really helping us out here. I promise I'll help you as soon as I'm done with these crates. Okay, so... Wait, what's that? 
Uh, that's not what I wanted to do here. Oh, okay, understood. So we go inside here, cellar. So should we go down? I guess. Okay. Didn't actually expect something like that, but sure. And we cannot climb this, so that's why we took this thing here. Okay, should work now. Yeah. Uh, let's go down here maybe. Because there's some food or whatever those are and I'm really hungry. Okay, seems good for now. Mushrooms good also. And some water, sure, let's drink then. And replenish it. Good. Uh-huh. So, what's that? A party hat, okay. Huh, it sure looks like someone had a party down here. Oh, look, there's a small wooden key on the ground. Could that be the locker key which Edward lost down here? It probably is. And what... Is this? Whoops, I didn't want to leave this yet. Okay, that's like a shortcut. And can I somehow reach this? Oh yeah, I can. That's perfect. I want to collect the medical kit just in case. You never know when you would need one, right? Okay, so we go in here. A row of lockers. Okay, so where is the key? Here it is. Let's see what's inside. A medal. Okay, good. So... I guess we're going to the... Wait, we can actually do a shortcut by going here. Getting inside here. Because the door opened. Yeah, so... Yeah, okay, that's probably faster, I think. Mm, and we return to this guy and talk to him again. Brother Caprinus, look, I got a medal from the Admiral's locker. It really was still inside, and it's quite shiny if I may so. Looks like this Admiral wasn't all bark, but actually had some bite in him. Well, we'll make a good use of that shiny thing, it's exactly the kind of trinket the old beast likes. How do we go about this? Oh, pal, here, oh, so merciful featherness knows me too well, and she doesn't like me much, I think. If I go up there with you, she won't take the bait. You'll have to do it by yourself. You promise she won't bite? Ah, uh -huh. she may be moody feather duster, but she won't have any appetite with all the treats she gets. Just climb up with it, whichever tower is currently empty and hold up the medal. That should lure her over to you. Don't run or flinch until she has landed on your side. No flinching, I got it. Once she's taken the medal from you, you just rush over to the other tower and grab the bell clapper. Sounds easy enough, I'll do my best to get Bell Clapper back to you. Brother Caprinus? Me and my stomach are counting on you, Curly. Okay, so... Yeah, let's try and do that. I just have to run really quickly, so... I don't know if I will be able to do that. Uh, but let's try, so we go here. She's flying here, no flitching. She has landed. And... Well, we would have to go to the other side then, I guess. And we would be successful. But that just takes a lot of time. Which I don't have, so... Uh, okay, well... We just did that a little bit faster. Oh yeah, and I should have dropped that thing, I guess. Uh, yeah, I forgot to do that. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.